This meeting is being recorded. Hello. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How's everybody doing? <laughs> oh my God, oh. look at Claudia is already stressed. What happened, Claudia? No, no, tranquila. Esperando lo estábamos. Ya está estresada. What happened? No, no se presentaba. Oh my goodness. <laughs> estaba preocupada. Oh, yes, es que el internet es como que está un, por la lluvia está un poquito lento. Oh. I'm sorry. Yes. Oh. Okay. So good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for the, your waiting time. And uh, today we are going to do the midterm. But before we do the midterm, we need to go over some uh, 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 topics that uh, maybe you need help with, uh, something that uh, is not clear for you uh, um, that we have been studying. So we can do an overview of it, or we can jump right into the midterm if you want to, okay? Vamos a, a ver si hacemos algún review de algún uh, topic, uh, un tópico que usted no le haya quedado muy claro antes de hacer el midterm. Y si todo está claro como el agua cristal, eh, entonces nos vamos de una sola vez al midterm y uh, podemos comenzar el capítulo 3, si usted lo decide. ¿Ya? Yeah? It's up to you. ¿Ya? Yeah? Si quiere, hacemos un review. Me dice, teacher, este punto no me quedó muy claro. We can go over and uh, podemos hacer un repaso. Y, si no, si estamos bien, perfecto. ¿Ok? Estamos, uh, estamos ready for it. We just jump right in. ¿Ok? En... Alba, Saavedra, ¿cómo está hoy? How are you today? Ya tenía. Hi, thank you. Día de novela. Where have you been? <laughs> oh, all the way. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Excellent. And uh, Roberto Carlos, how do you feel today? Fine, teacher. Okay. Uh, I feel okay. I feel better. You uh, feel better. Okay. If you if you are better, we feel better too. Okay. Si te sientes bien, nosotros nos sentimos también bien. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Let's um, let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, let's start the uh, midterm. Uh, let's see. Just a second, so we can start uh, the midterm part. And then we can go, uh, we can start chapter three. One second, please. Let's see. Second. Second. Yes. Hello. Hello. One second. One moment, please. Okay, here we go. Okay, the exam has uh, six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. The first part is the listening uh, to the conversation. And the last part is the reading comprehension that we're gonna be doing. On the first part, uh, you're gonna listen to the conversation and based on the conversation, you are going to correct the information. Okay, for example, the, uh, the first information, it says that the woman visited uh, Hokkaido for the first time. And it says, uh, the other answer is the beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. And the third one says the women, the woman thinks Hokkaido is pretty stressful. Okay, so you're gonna, based on the, on the listening, you're gonna decide what to do. If you have done it uh, previously, uh, of course, you're gonna know the answer, but uh, try to understand what the audio says, okay? 
And based on the uh, what the Ario says, then uh, we're going to answer the question. Are, are you guys ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very good. A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah. That's why I go there. Okay, so... The beaches in Hokkaido are not crowded. Are not? I'm sorry? Crowded. Crowded. Okay. Yes. The beaches in Hokkaido are not uh, crowded. Yes. Very good. That's the one. It's just like uh, the beaches in our country, right? Not crowded. Okay. Let's uh, go to number two. We're going to listen to the conversation number two. And over here we have, uh, again, three possible answers. One of them is the correct one. The man had a great vacation in Paris last July. July. Oh, the man hasn't been to Paris yet. The third option will be the man can't way to go to Paris in August. So we're going to listen the audio for the correct information. Okay, let's do it. Two. Have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have. I hey. went there last year in July. How did you like it? It's an amazing city. I had a really great time there. And what about this year? Have you taken a vacation yet? No, I haven't. But I plan to spend a week on a beach somewhere, probably in August. Sounds good. Three. Okay. Can so, you tell me a little about Barcelona? Oh. Okay. So what would be the uh, uh, the answer, the correct answer on uh, question number two? The man had a great, great vacation in Paris last July. The man had a great vacation in Paris last july everybody agree yes. Todos están de acuerdo? yes teacher yes teacher yes yes very good okay the third conversation let's uh let's see what the third converse conversation is about oh, my favorite city it's so beautiful what should i see there well you should definitely visit some of the wonderful museums there like picassos and miros and you shouldn't miss the Ramblas. The Ramblas? Yes. It's a very long street. You can walk and stop for a drink or a meal there. Sounds great. And when's a good time to visit? Oh, I went there in June, and the weather was very nice. Don't go in the winter, though. It's pretty cold then. Okay. Thanks for your information. <laughs> Four. Children, the children miss some of the museums in Barcelona. So you shouldn't uh, miss uh, some of the museums in Barcelona. Okay. Is that the correct one? <coughs> yes, teacher. Okay. You shouldn't uh, miss one of the museums in Barcelona. Very good. Let's hear... Um, <coughs> Conversation number four. Enjoy your trip to Canada. Oh, it was great. What did you do there? Well, I went to Vancouver and stayed there for a couple of days. And then I took a ferry boat to Victoria. I don't think I know Victoria. It's a really nice city, mm -hmm. Vancouver Island. It has an interesting harbor with lots of sailboats. What happened? Victoria. Okay. Victoria is put safe and clean. Okay, let's see. Just a second, because something happens to the audio.
Well, it's raining, teacher. That's why, yes. Uh -huh. But let's, uh, I'm going to reload the audio so we can listen it again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Hey, listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Hokkaido in northern Japan. It was my third time there. Oh, really? I've never been there. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I love the mountains, and there are some beautiful beaches there. Are the beaches crowded? No, you can usually find very quiet okay. beaches. Sounds like it's an excellent place to relax. Oh, yeah, that's why I go there. Two, have you ever been to Paris? Yes, I have. I went there last year in July. How did you like it? It's an amazing city. I had a really great time there. And what about this year? Have you taken a vacation yet? No, I haven't. But I plan to spend a week on a beach somewhere, probably in August. Sounds good. Three. Can you tell me a little about Barcelona? Oh, my favorite city. It's so beautiful. What should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit some of the wonderful museums there, like Picasso's and Miro's. And you shouldn't miss the Ramblas. The Ramblas? Yes. It's a very long street. You can walk and stop for a drink or a meal there. Sounds great. And when's a good time to visit? Oh, uh, I went there in June, and the weather was very nice. Don't go in the winter, though. It's pretty cold then. Okay. Thanks for your information. Okay, here we go. Number four. Four. Did you enjoy your trip to Canada? Oh, it was great. What did you do there? Well, I went to Vancouver and stayed there for a couple of days. And then I took a ferry boat to Victoria. I don't think I know Victoria. It's a really nice city on Vancouver Island. It has an interesting harbor with lots of sailboats. Is it a safe place? Oh, yes. And it's not polluted at all. It's wonderful. Okay, Luis Alonso, what uh, what was the, the answer that you said? Victoria is both safe and clean. Okay, Victoria is both safe both. and clean. Safe and clean. Uh, everybody agrees on that uh, answer? Yes, so, Sande... I agree, teacher. Okay, San de acuerdo. Okay, very good. Excellent. Let's go and submit the uh, um, the answer. Yes, and all of them are correct. Uh, good job. Excellent. Excellent uh, listening. That's uh, is uh, actually it's testing you your listening uh, ability. Okay. Very good. Let's go to the second uh, part B. And uh, put the words in the correct order to make a sentence. So. The words are scramble, and what you're gonna do, your job is to put them in order so the sentence uh, makes sense, okay? So the first one, it says, put the words in the correct order to come up with the proper sentence. Okay, who wants to do the first one? First one. Seoul is a really fun it's a really city. Okay. Seoul is a really fascinating city. Is the first one or the second one? First one. First one. The first one. Okay. Yeah, because both of them are the uh, have the same uh, 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 meaning, but uh, one of them has a, a uppercase on uh, on the beginning of the word, and the word really, yes. So that it, will make it uh, an upper, also uppercase, and is. So that it, will make it is it same. It is same with the the last the last one, the number four. 
a really fascinating, really self? Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm talking about the first one and the second one. See, Seoul yes. is a really fascinating city. It's, uh, the first one says that. And the second one says, Seoul is a really fascinating city. Both of them say the same, but uh, are written differently. Yeah. The, okay. the second one is written in, a, in an uppercase letter. Yes. And the first one is not. Okay. So that's the, the difference. Very good. Okay, number two. Peru, Peru is an extremely interesting country. Okay, Peru <laughs> is an extremely interesting country. Is that what you said? The, the Number th uh, third one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if we choose the second one, the second says, second one says that Peru is an extremely country interesting. That is written in Spanish. Yes. In Spanish, we will say that. Yes. Peru es una extremadamente uh, ciudad interesante. Eso sería en español. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but, in English, but in English, we put the uh, adjective first. First, yes. yes. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Good job. Okay. Now let's do the uh, third one. It's too expensive for me. Que de alguna manera están generando Yes, please. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's do number three. Taipei is too expensive, expensive for me. Number two. Okay. Uh, Taipei is too expensive for me. Sí. Okay, very good. Uh, yes. See, the second one and the third one are almost the same, but uh, the same thing. Uh, one is written in Spanish and the other one is written in English uh, structure. Yeah. The, the third one said, Taipei is too expensive me for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Para mí, yes. Okay, very good. And the fourth one said that Taipei too is expensive for me. That definitely doesn't, it doesn't mean, uh, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's go ahead and submit this one. And it says that we got them all right. Yeah. So you guys are good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Very good. Now let's go to the uh, um, C part, which is a circle, the correct word. And this one, what it's looking for is to verify if you can identify the words. Yes. So read the sentences and choose the correct adjective. If you can uh, identify the adjective that uh, goes well with the sentence, then um, it means that you recognize them. Very good. So let's do the first one. New York City is a very exciting, but it is stressful. Okay. And you say New York, New York City is a very exciting, you said? New York City is very exciting, but it is stressful. stressful. Okay. Okay. It is stressful. Okay. In New York City, it is very exciting. So that means that the, after the word but, it's going to contradict that, right? That is going to be contradicting um, what we said before. So you say that it is very stressful. Is that the correct answer? Everybody yes, agrees with uh, stressful? I agree, teacher. Okay, very good. Exciting with stressful. Should be something uh, different. Very good. Now let's do uh, number two. This one is an interesting, interesting city and it's beautiful. Okay. So this one is have to agree, right? The first sentence has, has to agree with the second sentence. So 
uh, whenever we have and, we are adding information to the previous information we have already given. So yes. Lisbon is an interesting city. So <clears throat> it is an interesting city. So something that uh, goes along with interesting have to be placed over here. And she said that it's beautiful and it's beautiful, right? Not noisy because noisy is, is like contradicting, interesting. Or polluted is contradicting, uh, interesting as well. So beautiful is the right answer. Everybody agree? I agree. Yes. Okay, very good. Now let's do number three. It's a city. It is located though. Okay. So Tokyo is a safe city. city. It is crowded. Crowd. Okay. La pronunciación. Vamos a trabajar en la pronunciación. Crowded. 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 Yeah. Crowded. Crowded. Entonces la ed se oye como ed. Ed. Crowded. Okay, let's try it again, Luis Alonso. Crowded. Okay, Tokyo very... is a safe city. It's crowded. Though. 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 Yes. Crowded. Though. Yeah, it's crowded. Though. Yes. Though. Okay, very good. Everybody agrees with this? Crowded? Yes, teacher. Very good. Now let's do number four. My home, my hometown is pretty boring. It is very relaxing, however. Okay, my hometown is pretty boring. It's very <laughs> relaxing, however. So the however is contradicting right there, right? It's just telling something opposite. Okay, so it's very relaxing, however, yeah? Or we can uh, put, uh, it's very relaxing though, right? Okay, so we have, um, um, and I think we are missing one, this one. We said it was crowded, right? Okay, let's go ahead and let's submit this one and see how we did. Good job, you got them all right. Okay, very good. Excellent, let's go to the next uh, section, which is section B, D as in dog. Okay, and this one, we're gonna complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't. Remember the should is uh, it's like a, a, if you want to give an advice, you use the should. Or if you want to uh, if you want to uh, express an ability, uh, you are going to use can. And can't is the negative side of can. Okay, very good. So these are the instructions. Complete the sentences with should, shouldn't, or can't. Let's do the first one. The first one. Today can be dangerous at night. You children, children, stay up too late. Okay. Let's uh, let's uh, work on the uh, on on this word. Shouldn't. 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 Yes, and uh, is to shouldn't stay out, out yes. too late. Yes, okay. Uh, please uh, try to read it again. The city, the city can be dangerous at night. Can shouldn't stay out too late. Okay, the second part was hard to understand it, maybe because it's raining, right? But uh, it, it was hard for me to understand it. And um, it should be pronounced uh, like this. 
you shouldn't stay out late, too late. You shouldn't stay out too late. You should stay out too late. Too late. And on the word late, you have to make sure that the T sounds, you make the sound of the T at the end, late. 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 Very good, Shouldn't yes, yes. Out too late. Very good, okay, now try to read the sentence again. This TV can be dangerous at night. At, at night. night, at night. At night, you shouldn't start out too late. late. No, no, you shouldn't stay, stay out you too late. Stay out too late. Okay, the city can again. be dangerous at night. You shouldn't stay out too late. Very good. Yes. Dangerous. 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 Very good. Okay. So you shouldn't uh, should be the answer, right? Okay. Very good. Good job. Number two. Anybody? You? you can't travel. You can travel by subway late at <laughs> night. There are no trains after midnight. Okay. So you shouldn't travel by subway late at night. There are no trains after midnight. Very good. So you said is uh, shouldn't uh, the word we should uh, select. Is that the correct answer, everybody? No. No, no right? teacher. No. No, because shouldn't is an advice. Yes. It's not an ability. Yes. Shouldn't is an advice. So what will be the answer? Can't. You can't. You can't. Yes, very good. You can. You can't. Travel. Yes, go ahead, read it. You can travel by subway late at night there are no trains after midnight yes there are no trains after trains. midnight yes very good excellent good job okay let's try it, uh, number three in hong kong the water is bad in the fall you should go to death them okay in hong kong the weather is best in the fall. Mm -hmm. In the fall, not the fall, right? The is no exist in English. The. You can say the or the. Oh. So in Hong Kong, the weather is best in the fall. You shouldn't or you should go there then. You say should, right? Should. Yeah. Okay, in Hong you Kong, should. The is you, best in the fall to go to them. I'm sorry, go ahead, please. In Hong Kong, the water is best in the fall. You should go there then. Okay, uh, concentrémonos, okay? Let's, uh, let's concentrate. La palabra de no existe. Esa palabra de no existe. Yeah. En la pronunciación es either the or the. The es cuando va después de un nombre consonante, un sound de consonant, y the cuando tiene el sonido de una vowel. Yes. Por ejemplo, the apple. Yes, o the banana. Yeah, it starts with the B, banana. Pero nunca se dice the banana o the apple. Yes. Entonces, eh, trate de trabajar en ello. Que no diga de, de, diga da, da o the. Tratemos de leerla otra vez. In Hong Kong, the water is best in the fall. You should go there then. Yes, 
Y esta no es water, es weather. weather. The weather is best in the fall. You should go the there then. Probemos otra vez. In Hong Kong, the weather the weather is been, been best, best. In, the, in the fall. You should go there then. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Yes, eh, estamos tratando, trabajando en su cerebro, okay? Very good, good job. Yo sé que le eh, está costando, pero it will pay back. Yes, va a tener su recompensa. Don't worry. Okay, very good. So you should is the answer, right? Let's uh, submit uh, the answers and see how did we do. And we did wonderful. We did excellent, excellent job. Okay, let's go to the next uh, section, which is uh, E section. On the E section, it says match. What is match? Aparear, verdad? Match is aparear, uno con otro. Match the problem with the advice <laughs> then use the information to write conversations yeah so those are the instructions we are going to match the problem with the advice then we're going to use the information to write conversations okay very good let's okay. see match the problem with the advice a fever fever is fever. the problem yes fever, fever. now yeah, what would, what should be the advice take some aspirin, aspirin. Take some aspirin. yes yes take some aspirin right that should be the advice yes we're not gonna send someone with a fever uh, just go and see a, a dentist <laughs> no Okay, very good. Now let's see. The problem is sunburn. Everybody knows sunburn. what a sunburn is. Todos conocen. Todos saben qué es un sunburn. Yes, Tatiana. Quemadura solar. What is the meaning? Quemadura solar. Yes. Uh huh. Son quemaduras solares. Cuando usted va a la playa y se quema y se empieza a peel off, se empieza a a a pelar todo, peel off. Entonces, ha tenido un sunburn. No. Ok, Tatiana. What is the meaning of the heating pad? Heating pad. Heating, heating pad. pad. Yes. Es, es, es un, un, un pad, o sea, un, un, así como almohadita, que se calienta. Es cuando le duele a usted la, la, la espalda. When you have a backache, backache, they give you a heating pad. Yeah, para que se le caliente su espaldita. Thank you. Eso es un hidden pad. Yeah, okay. Very good. So a sunburn is the problem. What should be the advice? Try this lotion. Try this lotion. Okay. Try this lotion. Yes. Very good. Try this lotion. Very good. Now we have a sore muscle. What is a sore oh, muscle? muscle. Muscular. When you go to the sore gym yeah, and, and you lift weights and your muscle hurt. Oh my God, don't touch me. No, 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 don't touch me. It hurts. Yes. Or play soccer, bitch. Or play soccer. Yes. If you have. Or play basketball. Or basketball. Yes. If you have not. Uh, if or you swim. haven't been uh, playing soccer for six yes. months and you go and play the. Uh, on Sunday, for sure, you're not going to work the next day. <laughs> you yes. won't be able to go to work. Yeah. Okay, so that is a sore muscle. So Jewish that should, question. what should be the uh, advice? Use a hidden pad. Yes, okay. Use a hidden pad. Okay, so there is where you're going to use a hidden pad. Uh, uh, Tatiana, play this. Yes. That's a hidden pad. Cuando, cuando vayas al, al gym y te duela un, un, un músculo, entonces te pones un, un hidden pad. Yeah. 
ya. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, use the hidden path. Now, oh my God, this this one, it even to talk about it hurts. Yes, uh, un hablar de eso duele. Yes. Wow. And toothache, toothache. Oh <laughs> my God, that's terrible. Oh, those are those pains are very very killing. Yeah. So a toothache. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh. I said toothache. Toothache. Okay, it's dolor de, de diente. Yes, toothache. Or dolor de muela. Toothache. Yes. That yeah, is, the, yeah, that is the uh, problem. A toothache. What yeah. should be the advice? The advice. See a dentist. Yes. Be a, a dentist. So they can pull off the teeth, right? Or the tooth. So para que te quiten el diente. So eso le dicen a uno, le voy a quitar el diente. Le voy a quitar. No, espérense, tranquilo. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> okay. So see a dentist. Very good. We're going to submit this one and see what's going to happen. We get them all right. Very good. Oh, my goodness. See, we are doing a wonderful job, all of us together. Okay, let's go to the next section, which is section F. We're almost done. Okay, and section F, it says complete the conversations with bottle, jar, pack, or tube. These are packaging, right? These are some uh, los envoltorios, packagings. Yeah, remember those packagings. We are going to complete the conversation using those words, okay? So let's start with the first one. Tatiana, please read the first question and give me the answer. If you would, please. I see I see your I, I see your lips moving uh Tatiana but I can hear I don't know if it if it's just me the customer what do you have for a call for take this bottle of vitamin C once every day okay so it's a, very good I'm, I'm just gonna help you with the vitamin Vitamin. Vitamin. Yes, vitamin. Yes. What do you have for a cold? The customer asks. And the pharmacist answers take this bottle of vitamin C, take one every day. Every day. All right. Right, pero, pero no se asuste, Tatiana. You did a wonderful job. Yes, you're, you're great. You're great. Okay, so it's a bottle. It's a bottle, right? A bottle. Okay, very good. Bottle, good job, good job. Now let's see number two. Let's uh, let's have Estela Lara try this one, please. Teacher, why me? Customer. <laughs> Customer, uh, can, I, can I have some time for drying skin? Pharmacy, I do suggest this jar of half cream. A plate, a plate every morning. Okay. How do you say a Jar. Yeah, every, every. But I'm gonna help you. You did a wonderful job. Uh, you said every um, it was a, a pretty pretty acceptable the way you said it. The word that I'm gonna help you with is something, something, something. and apply, apply. So it's gonna read as follows. Can I have something for dry skin? Dry skin, sí, como que fuera lagarta, la, la, lagarto, la piel como que fuera de lagarto, esa es la dry skin, 
Okay. Skin. Alligator skin, they, yep. they call it. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I suggest, I suggest this, jar. this a jar, right? Jar. Yeah, I suggest this jar of hand cream. Apply some every morning. Okay, now try it again. Can, can I have something for drying skin? I suggest this jar of hard, hard cream. Apply some every morning. Very good, it's acceptable. Very good, excellent, good job. Good job. Okay, let's try number three. Uh, who wants to do, do number three? Okay, Paola, thank you. Uh, may I have something for a tooth, tooth polish? Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Uh -huh. Of course, try this uh, soup of a special toothpaste. Okay, very good, very good. Now, this one, this word is tooth, like tooth, like a uh, diente, ¿verdad? Y la otra palabra es ache. Ache. Entonces se va a oír toothache, no H, ache con K. Ache. Ache, yes. Toothache. Now try to read it, the whole sentence. May I have something for a toothache? Of course, try this tooth. Of a special toothpaste. Very good. Excellent. Good job. That's a wonderful job. Excellent. Okay, so we have two and we have the last one. Who wants to do the last one? Okay, Jenny Sanchez, go ahead, please. Customer, could I get something for a for throat? Pharmacist. Sure, it is a pack of cough drops. They really work. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job, Jenny. And thank you for the volunteering to read the question. Okay, very good. A pack. Yes, could I get something for a sore throat? Uh, sure. Here's a pack of cough drops. They really work. Very good. Excellent. Cough drops. Cough is para toser, ¿verdad? Cough drops. Very good. Excellent job. Let's submit this one. And we got them all right. Oh, my goodness. We are conquering the world. Very good. Let's go to the uh, last one, which is to read the article. We're going to read the article. Then we're going to check four things people suggested the writer should do. And it's the last one. Okay, just a second. One moment, please. It's loading. Let's see. One second. One second, please. Okay, can you see it? Yes. All of you see it, okay. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna have uh, Morena Medina reading the first uh, paragraph. Then I'm going to have uh, Claudia Iraeta reading the second paragraph. And I will have uh, Luis Alonso 
reading uh, the third paragraph. And I will have Olivia Osorio reading the blue parts, the airport porters, the uh, parking valets, uh, hotel doors, all the way to the, the to barbers or hair hair stylist. And then I will have uh, Jose Vega reading the last uh, paragraph, okay? All right, let's do it. Hola. Yes. Hasta dónde voy a llegar? First paragraph. First, first one. Vaya. To think or not to think. The word think comes for uh, an old English slab. Word that means to yin, to hear. It is both a noun and a verb. America usually teach people in place like restaurant, airport, hotel, and high salon. Okay, Continue. very good. Okay, I'm going to help you with some uh, pronunciations, okay? The word tip comes from come. an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. Okay, now try it. Then the word thing comes from a uh, old English sl slang. Word that means to gain it is both a noun and a verb. America usually teach people in place like restaurant, airport, hotel, and high salon. Okay. Airports, airports, airport, places, placer, a uh, place, restaurants, restaurant, mm -hmm. and Hotels. hair salon, Hotels. hair salons, hair salon, hair salon. Very good, excellent. Next, please. Otra vez. No, no, no. Next, no. El otro paragraph, el que le toca el otro paragraph. People who work in this place often get paid low wages. A tip show that the customer is pleased with the service. Okay, vamos a trabajar en los uh, plurals y los past uh, verbs, okay? And um, they say people who work in these places. Ese es un plural. People who work in these places often get paid lower wages. Wages es otro plural. A tip shows, ese es third person verb. A tip shows that the customer is pleased. Con T al final, porque termina en una consonant um, and voice. Entonces, ese pleased, tiene que irse con una T. Pleased with the service. Sí, Jenny, dígame. Una pregunta, teacher. Eh, para distinguir es este this del otro this que es T-H-I-S. Es que es el una, otro... El otro igual. No, 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 no. De ninguna manera. Uno es... Uh, es uh, eh, cuando dice este this, this house, yeah? Y el ¿Ves? otro, these houses, these houses, y this es house. Plural. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so tiene que irse la diferencia, Jenny. This yes. y these. This, these. Escucha la diferencia. 
Yes. Okay. The, in this case, in, in this case, is this. In this case, is this. Yes. Por eso es que se lo, se lo, se lo enfatizo yo bien claro. Aquí dice these, these people, these places, these hotels, these hair salons. Yeah. Pero si dice solamente uno, va a decir this place, this airport, yes. this hotel, this air salon. Yeah. Very Thanks, good. Teacher. Good question. Okay. Now you can read the uh, um, the paragraph again with the corrections. People who work in this place often places. places often the pay low wages. A tip shows that the customer is placed pleased with the service. Pardon? Pleased. Pleased with the service. Very good, with the service, yes. And recuérdese que no existe, la palabra de no existe, es the customer. Yeah. Solo acuérdese the customer. Eso. Very good. Good job. Uh, in, a lot of uh, improvement uh, was done this time. Very good. Excellent. Okay, next time. Next, please. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to the tips. The size of the tip usually depends on the service, people such as parking, ballet, or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxis, driver, and waiting, uh, waiters is usually large. Here are a few goodliness for tapings in the United States. Ok, todo iba bien, Luis, todo iba bien. Hasta que llegaste a donde dice the tip for people, ahí empezaste ya a, a, a perderte. Entonces vamos a, te voy a ayudar en esa parte solamente. Lo demás, okay. no, no necesitamos a, a gastar tu tiempo. Dice, the tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waitresses. Ahí está. Waiters waitresses. or waitresses yes. is usually larger. Ese es un comparison. Larger. Larger. Yes. yes. Larger. Here are a few, few. guidelines. 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 Guide. Guidelines. Guidelines. Yes. For tipping in, for the, tipping United in States. the United States. Okay. okay. Vemos eso último. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiter or waitress is huge waitresses. waitresses waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few good lines. Guidelines. Guidelines. Yes. Excuse me. Guidelines for taping. In tipping. the United States. Yeah, for tipping, tipping the United States. Tipping and the yes, United tipping. States. Yeah. Very good. Tipping. Excellent. Next, please. Uh, I for porters or hotel by looks. Uh, um, only blue. One dollar or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Yeah, the red one too. Parking wallet. One dollar parking a car. Yes. Hotel, uh -huh. hotel door attendance. One or two for getting a taxi. Hotel mail. One uh, five. Per night. Taxi driver, 15% pers of the boil more if they help you with both. Mm -hmm. Waiters and waitress, 
uh, waiters and waitresses 15 or 20 pence pen of the bar. There are no in the fast food restaurants. The fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Barbers or high stills, fifteen percent of the bill. 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 Bill is a recibo or la factura. Uh, bill. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Next, please. Okay. When you're not sure about how much to tip, the one feel right. You don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger to tip for very good service. Remember how your behavior is more important than your money. Always trade service providence with respect. Yeah, service providers with respect. Private with respect. Yes. Very okay. good. Okay, good job. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, just a second. One second, please. One second. One second. Wow. It's starting to rain hard. Yes, yes, yes. It looks like uh, something is going on because uh, yeah, it says. Uh, it's very slow. One second, please. We're almost done. One second. It's very slow. Yes, very slow. But yes. it's, it's raining hard. It's pouring, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we did the, um, let's see, just a second. So it's the last one. Okay, one second. Okay, there we go. Can you hear my, can you see my, the screen? Yes. Okay, so the first, it says wages, regular pay for a job or tips received for a job. What would be the answer? Regular pay, regular pay for a job. Regular pay for a job? Yes. Yes. Okay, so it will be 
answer number one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the second one it says uh, pleased. Mm -hmm. Happy or satisfied? Annoyed. Happy or satisfied. Yes. Happy, happy, or satisfied. happy or satisfied. Very good. And the third one it says depend on. Change according to. Okay, change depend on. Change according to. All right. And the number four behavior. A way of asking. A way of acting. Yes. And treat. Treat. Act, act towards. Act towards. Act towards. Act towards. Act towards. Yes. Act towards. yes. And uh, respect. Courtesy. Courtesy, right? Courtesy. 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 Yes. Very good. Let's submit this one and see what happened. Okay, we got them all right. Very good. We did a wonderful job. Excellent. Well, all of you did a wonderful job. Okay, so um, um, we're gonna start the chapter, uh, what, uh, unit four on Monday. And uh, everybody should uh, finish up to the midterm, should have everything done up to the midterm, all of you. If anybody needs to work on the platform and if you need help, just let me know, okay? Great teacher. Okay, just a second so I can uh, let you guys go. One second. One second, please. One second. Something is wrong, I'm sorry, keeping you. Okay. You're there. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can finish the session. I think you guys are the... Mm. Thank you. 